Hello, in this benchmark, we're going to be running Resistance Fallen Man on the RPCS3 emulator on ROG Ally X, one I'm very excited for because it's one of my favorite PS3 games of all time. Obviously, it was a launch title as well for the PlayStation 3. I remember having fond memories when I went to see the PS3 before it was launched. Now, I think it may have been already out and because the UK had it about well, four months later, uh, because I think it came out in November 2006 over in the US and in the UK, it was the 23rd of March 2007. So, yeah, I remember you know playing playing that, Mode Storm and Lair. So, this is another you know, three you know big games. I can't, I don't think Lair was a launch title, I think it got pushed back. I might actually test that as well, but yeah, I'm um, you know just digressing now. I'm just reminiscing about back in the days, but yeah, Resistant Fall Man, really excited for this one. So, yeah, uh, so I'm gonna show you the best settings to get the best performance. To be honest, you don't need to change much, it works pretty well on default. And it, this is a green, so this is like said, like playable, fantastic. So, you right click, go to create custom configuration from default settings. And the only thing you actually need to change is in advanced and you want to change driver wake up display you want to change that to 50. okay i will just manually do here's a little tip so you can just manually click and use the arrows as long as in your if it loads up command center you're on desktop mode or auto for the control and now we need to change the v blank rate to 120 so this right here to 120 there we go and that's it apply save configuration well let's check out what game patches they have as well so the only real one that we want to enable is unlock fps so this will allow us to go above the locked i mean 30 fps and now we can launch it so super pumped you know, like I said, Resistance Fallen Man, it was, a, you know, a childhood memory of mine. And I remember this, I played this game so many times, like literally every difficulty setting. I always wanted them to do an update with trophies. They never did. <laughs> I mean, oh my God, I would love a remaster of this game. The whole trilogy, but especially this one. So that's just one thing to bear in mind with Resistance to Fall of Man compared to some other games. It kind of closes, but then it launches back up when you're going from menu to game or game to menu. You know, it reloads some of the, you know, build the PPUs and the SPU caches, then it loads it up. So that's just the way this game is, and a lot of them don't do that. Just something to bear in mind, though. So you can see it's running very, very smooth. And it's still around up to 30 to 50 frames per second, which is like a much bit smooth smoother than we originally was when we first came out. I'm going to climb this <laughs> a lot.
No one knows exactly how Hale was infected by the Chimera virus. Our only clue is a journal entry recovered from the body of a U.S. medic. It says that he encountered a number of comatose soldiers in a dry creek bed. One of the soldiers, a sergeant, suddenly woke up. Unlike the other soldiers, his body had no wounds at all. The sergeant refused any kind of medical examination, insisting on catching up to the rest of the company. If that sergeant was in fact Nathan Hale, then he remains the only known person to wake up after being infected. Whether the Chimerian virus mutated within him, or whether his body had an innate resistance to it, remains a mystery. This game, oh my god, works so well. I'm definitely going to be blasting through this over the weekend. Stay tuned for my next video. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. Let me know what other benchmarks you would like to see next of the ROG LIX and especially RPCS3 down in the comments. Bye!